Hi guys, look at you here and oh, this is the soup recipe of the longest living family in the world. And today we're gonna see if it's any good. <laughs> now apparently this soup will make you live until 100 years old. Oh, so come back in 100 years to see the results. <laughs> Am I still here? I've just chopped up one medium yellow onion, two medium carrots. Now the family that this soup originated from is actually from, <laughs> guess, Sardinia, Italy. And it's basically a family with nine siblings. Put all the ages together of each sibling, guess what it equates to? 861 years, okay? They are the Guinness World Record holder for the longest lives ever. And the Malise family eats this soup every single day from the moment they were a wee little fetus to little old grandma. They also pair it with sourdough bread as well as a quarter cup of wine, red wine. They said that the wine just helps them enjoy the meal better. If you enjoy the meal, you will live longer because you are less stressed. I don't even think I would eat chicken wings and french fries every day, even though that's my favorite dish in the world. Also pizza, specifically Pizza Hut. And Domino's, Domino's. And Papa John, Papa. Next up, we have celery. We're just gonna use one stock. We're just gonna chop it up. All right, we're not gonna eat the butt because, ew. And it's the fennel countdown. Do, 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 do. This is a PSA to be very careful while handling a knife. Kinsamida. All right, and we are back, California. We got a beautiful latex glove. This is a fashion statement. It is not because I just cut myself very deep. Anyways, chop it up. We have the Le Creuset. What did she say? Le Creuset. We're gonna turn it up to medium high. Three tablespoons of olive oil. Uno, dos, trois. Actually, I wanna try what fennel tastes like. It literally tastes like celery and milk. Lactose-free milk. Six cloves of garlic. Pray for my finger. One like equals one prayer for my finger. So we're gonna put the onions. Today I'm feeling a little lazy, so we're gonna bring out our good old garlic press. Saute it for two minutes until it becomes translucent. We also need one potato. Chop it into little bite-sized pieces. And now we're just gonna add our carrot, celery, fennel, uh, potato, right in. Minus the potato skin. Hey, that rhymed. So we're gonna mix it on up for around five minutes or so. Master Chef Miku, how's it looking? You a little sniffy? Let's get this video to 180 likes. Sniffy. So you can give Miku a juicy strawberry at the end of next video. Oh. Now is time for our crushed tomatoes. 800 milliliters. And we're gonna add four cups of water. We're also gonna add around half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of fresh cracked ground pepper. Alert, please help me. We're gonna let it simmer for 20 minutes. <laughs> now the recipe also asks for flat leaf lettuce. Lettuce? Oh my goodness. I blame the finger. Do I look like Picasso? 
Uh, I mean, Michael, Michelangelo? What is this called? Parsley. This is around a quarter of a cup. Just roughly chop it. As well as Walmart basil, 14 grams. For today's snack, pistachios. What is this? This is obviously a salad. Mmm, yummy. We got fava beans. <laughs> now, I don't know about you guys, but I love lots of beans. But these beans are my fava. We also need pinto. And finally, chickpea. According to dietitians, if you eat half a cup to a cup of beans a day, you'll live longer. 20 minutes is up. Let's add in our beans. One cup or half a can. We got our pinto, yuto, mito, pinto. One cup as well, fava. Then we're gonna do a little mixy mix. We're gonna do a little mixy mix. Oh! We're gonna test out this super roux, me and you, and see if it needs more salt. Just as I assumed, half a teaspoon was not enough. No wonder they have long lives. They don't have high blood pressure, but I need my sodium. All right, so I added a total of two teaspoons of salt. Five minutes have elapsed. The recipe calls for Sardinian fragula. Aw oh, man, I ran out of my Sardinia fragula. What does a girl do? Use small shells. And we'll add around a cup. All right, we're just gonna mix it up. Take a guess what kind of soup we're making. This is, I'm waiting, minestrone. Okay, we're gonna add a cup of water because the soup is a bit thick for my liking. And we're just gonna let it cook for seven minutes. All right, the pasta's fully cooked. Turn off the heat. And we're gonna add our freshly chopped parsley and basil. We're gonna do a little mixy mix, fold it in. Final touches we need. Pecorino Romano. Just say when. When. And now let's head to the taste test. Wow. All right, so this is the finished product. And I'm super excited. Oh, we shall get all the cheese in the middle. Of course, that's how we do it here in Look at You's household. Oh, look at that. All right, cheers. First bites for you. Mm, nom, nom, nom. When you first take a bite, you get hit with that tomato explosion. Okay, this tastes like tomato soup. Honestly. We have sourdough. Oh, freshly baked from Miku's Bakery store. How do we eat this? Good sourdough. I like hmm, beans and chili. My chili, more specifically. Is the best chili in the world. This is like a chili wannabe without the seasoning. Wait, why am I doing this? I I really want a burrito. <laughs> I really want a burrito. <laughs> and on the look at you scale, I would rate this long life soup a 7.5 out of 10. <gasps> would I make this again? <clears throat> Wait, I meant to say, mm -hmm? no, I would not make this again, okay? I will stick to my pot of chili, but if you're a fan of minestrone, minestrone, try this out, okay? And I'll see you guys next time. Miku gets spring mix salad. Eat. They're not giving you chicken this week. Sorry, Meeks. And if you're still here, comment, I'm a soupy head to confuse everyone. Huh?